Welcome to the chapter 11 overview video, vocal music for chamber and church in the early Baroque. Our learning objectives are number one, to describe the genres and styles of Italian secular vocal chamber music in the early Baroque. And number two, to describe sacred music in the Catholic and Lutheran traditions in the early Baroque. Chamber, church, and instrumental music of 1600 to 1650 maintain continuities with the past while assimilating some influences from the modern theatrical style. Most secular vocal music in the early 17th century involved ensembles with voices and was performed in private settings or by amateurs. In the early 17th century, Italian composers wrote thousands of pieces for solo voice or small vocal ensemble, with basso continuo and sometimes with other instruments. Concerted madrigals exemplify the blending of old polyphonic vocal music and new concerto medium. Many songs and instrumental works of the early 17th century used basso continuo or ground bass. The descending tetrachord was a common ground bass pattern often used for laments. The cantata was a new genre for voice and continuo. Early cantatas often used strophic variations, and later ones were on a lyrical or dramatic text and in several sections, including recitatives and arias. One of the most prolific composers of vocal chamber music, Barbara Strozzi, 1619-1677, published more cantatas than any other composer of the time. She was born in Venice and frequented intellectual circles with her father. She studied with Cavalli and was supported financially by her family and patrons. Although the Italian style of monody was imitated in other nations, composers outside Italy also produced songs of distinctly national character. In France, the most important genre of secular vocal music was the air de cour, or court air, a homophonic strophic song for four to five voices or for solo voice with lute accompaniment. Composers for the Catholic Church utilized both the steel antico, old contrapuntal style, and the steel moderno, modern style. Large wealthy churches celebrated major feast days with large scale works, often using antiphonal effects. Some adopted the theatrical idiom in works like sacred concertos, using a dramatic medium to convey the church's message. Lodovico Viadana, 1560 to 1627, was a pioneer of the small vocal concerto and his 1602 collection, Centro Concerti Ecclesiastici, 100 Church Concertos, was the first volume of sacred vocal music printed with basso continuo. Alessandro Grandi, 1586 to 1630, composed many solo motets that used the new styles of monody. Oratorios originated in 17th century Rome. They were religious music dramas performed outside of church services. An oratorio uses most of the same types of music as an opera, but it has a religious subject. It is rarely staged. There is often a narrator, and it employs a chorus that could take roles. The leading composer of oratorios in Latin was Giacomo Carissimi. 1605 to 1674, whose Gefte exemplifies the mid-century oratorio. Composers in both Catholic and Lutheran churches in German-speaking regions used elements of the monadic and concertato techniques. 17th century German composers wrote large-scale concertos, but the small sacred concerto was more common. Heinrich Schutz, 1585 to 1672 is renowned for applying the new Italian styles to church music and conveying the meaning of words through music. Schutz studied with Giovanni Gabrielli in Venice and then spent his entire career in the service of the Elector of Saxony in Dresden where he composed both sacred and secular works. In 1636 and 1639 Schutz published Kleine Geistliche Konzerte small sacred concertos for one to five solo voices with continuo that uses styles of Italian monody. 
in Symphonie Sacrée 2 and 3, 1647 and 1650, Schutz published large-scale concertos that blend Gabrielli's polychoral style with Monteverdi's expressive techniques. Schutz used musical figures to convey the meanings of the words, a practice described by his student Christoph Bernhard. Schutz's The Seven Last Words of Christ, believed to be from the 1650s, is a historia, which is a musical setting based on a biblical narrative that utilizes a variety of singing styles for dramatic effect. The most common type of historia was the Passion, a musical setting of the story of Jesus' crucifixion. Schutz composed three passions in the older German tradition. For your 25 question quiz, I would know about the following. Know about Caccini and the structure he used. See page 201. Know about Monteverdi and his book of madrigals. Know about Basso Ostinato. Know about cantatas. Know about Barbara Strozzi. Know about Steel Antico. Know about Joseph Fuchs. Know about St. Mark's Church in Venice. Know about small sacred concertos and grand concertos. Know about oratorios. Know about Giacomo Carissimi. Teresimi. Know about Heinrich Schutz and Giovanni Gabrielli. Know about Historia. Know about Passions. Know about Monteverdi. Know about Recitative. Know about Airs Decor. Know about Stil Antico and Stil Moderno. And that ought to do it.